Remember the last time I saw you was Friday night. We said this Dorian storm is headed toward Nova Scotia, Halifax, and here's what was left behind over the weekend, and they uh, got a pretty good whack from uh, what was then Hurricane Dorian, pretty much gone right now, but look at that. All right, let's see what's going on up there in Halifax and Nova Scotia, and it's all sunny. In fact, even down in the Bahamas, it's uh, looking good down there. A little bit of rain around Miami, and down here in Texas, we have some rain. And in East Texas, looks like around College Station, Huntsville, up near Marshall, Texas, could be some severe thunderstorms right now. All right, for us, partly cloudy tomorrow, isolated showers and thunderstorms once again, not unlike what we've seen today and what we are seeing now. Coastal areas in the morning, inland areas during the day. Nothing significant, though, has fallen. And there's a lot more moisture out there in the Gulf. That's more fuel for rain, and it's heading this way. Wanted to show you this. Burn bans, despite the rain, still in effect. In fact, Live Oak has now joined the club, so everybody in the viewing area is now included in county burn bans. That's LaSalle County and Kennedy County, the only ones even in South Texas. 92 degrees right now, partly cloudy. The high so far today has been 96. Winds out of the southeast at 18 miles per hour. No dangerous heat out there, but temperatures in the 80s along the coast. And look at that, only low to mid 90s as you head inland. 96 in Beeville, 94 in Alice right now. At least we have a little bit of a breeze out there, especially in Kings. Sustained winds at 23, gusts to 31 miles per hour. All right, isolated showers and thunderstorms once again in the forecast tomorrow. Coastal areas early, inland areas later in the day. What about Wednesday? Again, isolated showers, isolated thunderstorms, coastal areas early, inland areas during the afternoon. In fact, Wednesday will be the best chance to get some rain. Some of us could see between a quarter inch to a half inch of rain, say maybe two tenths of an inch tomorrow, and then three tenths of an inch on Wednesday, something along the lines of that. The rain chance will continue through Thursday, and then we'll taper off and we'll have mainly dry conditions Friday through the weekend. Again, the best chance for getting some measurable rain looks to be on Wednesday. As far as the tropics, nothing really we should be worried about out there. A couple of tropical waves out in the Atlantic. Keeping an eye on this thing north of Puerto Rico could get into the eastern Gulf and uh, could get us some additional moisture, but doesn't look like any development right now. So 20%, 30%, 20% way out there is Gabrielle out there. KTRIPLITV.com slash weather. Click on on Hurricane Central. Umberto will be the next name up. All right, isolated showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, along with partly cloudy skies, hot and humid, a high of 92. Highs tomorrow ranging from 87 at the beach, mid 90s in inland areas. Fishing and boating conditions, water temperature 84, sun up in the morning at 12 after 7. We'll have a high tide just before 6 in the morning. And the seven day forecast. The first day of fall, two weeks from today. Can you believe that? Two more weeks of summer, and then the seasons will really start to change. Not too All much. right, so I'll have a little <laughs> bit of rain over the next couple of days. Update at 6. All right, thank you, Bill.